Hey, folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Thursday, June 13th, 2019. So another dead day on Wall Street. Yesterday was uh, right around the lightest trading day of the year. Today looks to be even lighter. Now, why is the market all of a sudden going to sleep the last couple days? The answer is simple. It's the Federal Reserve. So next week, we have the FOMC meeting. We'll hear about interest rates. We'll get their kind of uh, synopsis of what they think the amount of rate cuts or no rate cuts will be the rest of the year into 2020. This is huge for the market. The reason why it's so big, folks, and bigger than probably many past meetings is because the market arguably has rallied off of the lows of about a week and a half ago because of the Federal Reserve, because expectations are that the Fed is going to cut rates, okay? So that's why the markets have zoomed higher. If I zoom out on my intraday spiders chart here, I mean, this whole move here, it wasn't because there was a deal with China. It wasn't because of anything else. All of a sudden, the weak data is making people believe the Fed is going to cut rates faster, and therefore, the market likes that. Again, when lower rates come in, see, this is the weird thing, right? So in general, you would say, oh, well, you know, if rates are going down, it means the economy is doing worse and so forth, which is true. But if the Fed gives free money, there's no other place to put it but in the stock market. And again, you know, think about it like this. I mean, do you want to make... 1% on your money a year? Or do you want to get dividends in stocks that are 5% or 4%? Do you want to have a shot to make 5 or 10% in the market at least? I mean, it's better than 1%. So that's, you know, essentially the lower rates go, the more it forces a bubble into the stock market because there's no other place to get any sort of return. And remember, it's not just mom and pops. Mom and pops make up like 2% uh, of the market money. We're talking about multi-billion, hundred billion plus dollar funds that have to perform for investors. Otherwise, they're going to lose their money. They're not going to get paid. Remember, two and 20, 2% 2 off the top, 20% of profits. These guys aren't in this to make a million bucks a year. They're in to make a hundred million or $10 million a year for themselves. So they're not going to just say, oh, well, we'll get 1% a year because they're not going to make any money themselves. And their investors, as I said, are going to pull their money. So this forces money into the market. That's why, again, arguably last week was a rally higher as people expect rate cuts from the Fed this year. And again, in my opinion, it's a house of cards waiting to collapse, but it may not collapse for a while. All right. So that's what's going on, folks. Markets are waiting for the Fed with bated breath. Next Wednesday, we'll hear from Powell. Jerome Powell, the Fed chair, and hear what interest rates are going to do. My guess is no rate cut. That's pretty standard for the market right now. The question is, what does he guide the market to believe? Will we see one or two or maybe three rate cuts before the end of the year? All right. Having said that, I do have a stock I want you guys paying attention to. It's on my short list. Uh, let's go to the daily chart. Here's the daily chart of the spiders. By the way, you can see the massive rally we staged just over the last week before we paused a little bit the last few days. PLNT is the name of the stock. This stock on every metric is overvalued. What I like about this is it's giving us a bear flag with a gap fill coming up. Now, the gap fill hasn't triggered yet. It's at uh, $80, a pierce of $80. But what I like about this is you have the topping tail right here, which is a dead-on top signal. Then you had the fall, which confirmed the topping tail. Now you're getting a float back up. And what you want to see is you want to see this gap closed. That'll trigger my short of this stock. Okay, so again, classic little setup here. Bear flag, time count. You're getting into a gap fill. You have a topping tail, all these factors. And what's even more amazing is the run this stock has had. So you can see, again, look at this thing. I mean, this has just been a monster. Going back to 2017, it was a sub-$20 stock, and it has just continued up. And let's be honest. I mean, it's a it's essentially a gym. Now, they, are, they do have a lot more other things besides just gym equipment, but... It's trading at like a 75 PE right now, all right? As far as I'm concerned, a gym should be at best trading at, you know, 25 or 20, maybe probably like 15, but, you know, I won't go that low. But, you know, in the very least, there's a lot of downside here, um, and my guess is you're going to see a slowing of growth here, and at some point, it has to be repriced. So this is a great trade setup. Again, it hasn't triggered yet, mind you. This trade trigger is at $80 pierce. So when it hits 80 bucks or pierces above $80. And then the beauty of it is you can use a stop very key here. Any close above the topping tail right here. So any close above $81.90 essentially. So you're only going to have a basically a $1.90 stop on this thing or maybe two bucks. Uh, any close above that high pivot, then you would just stop out. On the downside, the beauty of this is 
the bear flag should break down, and you probably go down here, folks. This is your next target in the in the sixty-seven to sixty-eight dollar range. So basically, for a two dollar risk, you can potentially get about twelve dollars in profit. That is a nice risk reward setup. All right. So on that note, I'm going to bid you farewell. But come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com as we continue to make insane amounts of money with our members. It has truly been a uh, trading month and year for the record books as we continue to spit out profits in the research center for members. Again, these are swing trades. We have a day trading chat room, but generally I think most of you guys would gear towards the swing trades. There's a seven-day free trial to the research center. We also have the options alerts. Again, no free trial there as it's just a money-making place there as well. But nonetheless, come join us. Take a look. Take the free trial to the research center. You'll see what we do here, and it will blow your mind and make you money. Have a great one, guys. Take care.